India is uh, becoming a hotbed of piracy. It's already a top 10 market in terms of piracy for us, us and changing every day. The threat has changed substantially in the last year or so from physical hard goods towards online piracy, where most of the content on an average is available in the first 2.15 days. Uh, it proliferates so quickly and you have these release groups who are actually taking camcorded prints out of India and now supplying internationally with increasing day date releases and earlier releases of Indian uh, American products in India. Uh, it's a live threat that we're facing on an ongoing basis. And this basically, uh, according to an ENY report, uh, leads to 571,000 loss, job, job losses and uh, more than $959 million worth of losses to the industry. So we are basically trying to see what is the best way to, to handle this and we realize that the best way to do it is to f focus on sources. What we are advocating is very strong camcording laws. We are looking at side blocking actions which can actually go after the habitual offenders which are the two sources that really, really are the problem. And the third side is awareness and training among enforcement officials so that they take action on some of the problems that we face. We've had a very good experience in the state of Andhra Pradesh where it is accorded enough importance and we see a difference when the enforcement officer is working well as a team to, to, to raid and bring about changes. Uh, we are hoping that we can take that and because this is a very precious industry in India as well. They make over 1,200 films in the world in, in a year, one of the largest film industries in the world. And it makes sense for our enforcement officials as well as the government authorities to stop this menace as much as we can, or at least control it. Interpol has its role cut out in this day and age where increasingly uh, our theft of our content is cross-border. The servers rest in different countries around the world and often it comes into play where local police, local enforcement authorities do not have jurisdiction to be able to work outside that, that particular country. I think if Interpol takes on the role of coordinating between various police units across the world and be able to educate them the way we are here, I think we will be better prepared to handle the theft of online piracy.